Do you remember the definition of hope? Hope is a wish, it's a desire, coupled with an expectation that what you've been wishing for or hoping for is going to happen. It's a wish plus an expectation. So here's where I want to just jump off into this real quick. Hope that just will not die can be tied to hope that someday, one day, you will step into, be brought into, be elevated into a position of influence. A position of influence. Maybe it is that there's something that's working inside you of a hope that one day you will be involved in influence, in influence, in leadership. If, if, if we're to ask you, What's the greatest hope in your life right now? Could it be the hope for reconciliation, restoration? Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound, you may exude, you may effervesce, you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Or in what categories, Lord? In these two categories we look at this morning, one is the hope that one day you will have a position and a place of influence. And then secondly, that one day God in his grace and mercy may restore fellowship, may reconcile warring factions, even within your own family. When hope just will not die, here are a couple of things that have to happen. You end up facing down the enemies of hope. Some of those that you face down, it doesn't mean they go away. It doesn't mean that you just conquer the enemies of hope. You stick a dagger in them or you throw a hand grenade at them and you blow them up. They're still there. They're still looking at you. Rejection is still looking at you. Rejection through the faces of the people who rejected you and the words that they spoke, they're still still operating. And the only way hope survives is that somehow God gives you the ability from within to face them down, face down the rejection. The second part is to outlast the enemies of hope. Just to, just to last longer than they are. Sometimes his way to get you through it is just give you strength to last longer than they will. To just stand there. Outlast it to face down the enemies of hope, but also to outlast the enemies of hope.